Hey guys, how's it going? I know it's been a long time since my last few videos, but I finally have my Vault 88. It's been a long time because that stupid glitch happened to me that I'm sure you're all aware of when you go to pick something up and it just doesn't work. But I'm finally done and it includes the DLC from Nuka World as well, so it was kind of a blessing in disguise, I guess. I'm here with my girlfriend today, Gab, who helped me with the vault. Hey guys. And that being said, we're just gonna get on inside. Right here in the entry, I just got four guards ready to go. Hurt's all up in front of them. Just to the right here, I redid my little security office, as well as I have another one inside. What do you think, Gab? I think it's cool. I just think it's so divided from the rest of the vault. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why they gave you this room, but whatever. You can't really it's change cool. anything, yeah. There are, all vaults have this, though. Yeah. All the entrances are pretty similar. And then I didn't do a whole lot around the, that basic power room they give you, too, you know? This one here? Mm-hmm, yeah. That being said, let's get to the actual vault. That's my little switch for a uh, cup of power to this part. And then I made a giant atrium here. Um, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube <clears throat> do a lot of different kinds of atriums, but no one really doubled, like, you know, doubled them like I did, which I thought mm -hmm. was kind of neat. Yeah, that looks awesome. I tried to utilize all of the space in this whole vault and make it look livable. I've I've made... I spent a lot of time on this vault, like probably as much as my Spectacle Island, and I wanted it to feel actually livable, lived in, and a place that you could, you know, if there was a nuclear bomb, you could be there without going insane in a year. And I think I did pretty good. There was only really one hallway I didn't actually use up all the space in, but other than that, I filled up everything. Just kind of a storage area, walking around the atrium. This is my clinic. We've got a doctor, or a surgeon, rather. Eye doctor, Clem. And then just a clinic store. And I kind of dressed up all of the, uh, Shells. Yeah, it looks good. This is my reactor room. Where the main power is. Tried to make it look as sciencey as I could. You think it would be more exciting than that? I think the reactor's so boring. Why didn't they make it have sound or something, you know? Like know. as if it was this actually generating has something? Kind of low hum. Here's the quarters, which we'll be getting to in a minute, because that's the best part. <clears throat> so this is my overseer's office. Where only I am allowed. I'm the only one who can make it up here anyways. Everyone else glitches out and hangs out in the middle of the stairs. Got my own bar. I don't actually nice. live in this vault. I just made... I just made it for fun. You worked on the bar, didn't you? I, worked, lot, I, I helped you out with it. the bar a yeah. little bit. This switch here turns on all the turrets inside the vault. I have them because for the longest time, super mutants would keep attacking me, and I got sick of it, so then I had to put some turrets in. That's the Overseer's Guardian, by the way, from Vault 81. And then I got two windows overlooking the vault. My girlfriend, who hasn't woken up yet, my second girlfriend, so I got... <laughs> my bathroom... My little Nuka mix area, my lounge, everything an overseer needs, except a secret passageway. Right. 
All right, I got an arcade here, and Gab definitely helped me on this too. Put up a bit of lighting, give me some advice. I'll keep all the pre-war money close by, so that all the vault dwellers can play their games. I would live in this vault. I don't know about you, but it's pretty <laughs> fucking cool. Yeah, everyone else's vault that I saw on YouTube, no one really made one that looked realistic. Like, you know, that looked like it could fit in the game. Yeah. Not like this, anyway. And, uh, so here's the probably the biggest section of my vault, the quarters. And hydroponics. Gam did a lot of work in, in the hydroponics. She did most of it. Rooms 7 to 9, rooms 1 to 6. And the hydroponics are this way as well. I made every single vault bedroom look like an actual bedroom and tried to make it look livable. Each has a sink and a, and a water fountain, a living space, a desk, two beds, everything but a toilet really. I just didn't bother with that, but everything that else, cool. I made every single room unique. Here's the hydroponics area. I think I made that purple sign though, hey Gav? You did, yes, yeah. that was an awesome idea. I couldn't quite I did remember. not come up with that. <clears throat> did, does anyone even get to the side of the vault? No. So no, no one's ever No in one's here. assigned to this anything oh, okay. in here, but this is the only, this is the one of two places in my whole vault that is actually exposed to the caves. And it's, it's only kind of, you'll see. Uh, I did a little bit of fine tuning, but Gab did most of the, most of the grunt work in here. Placing tables and that cool earth in the middle, which I'll get to in a sec. It's also the only part of the vault which has windows. I just kind of wanted a science room because I wanted to really use all the space in the whole cave. So I ended up just plugging in this room and then I went to work one day and was like, Gab, yeah, please just fill it in. And then I came back and it was so just... But I did make all this. This is the only other way out. This little uh, plank walk around the, the watering space. I hooked up a bunch of those watering machines that you can make before I actually realized you can use the big giant one that's right there. Smart move on my part. So that's pretty much it for the hydroponics room, so we're just gonna climb back now through all of these corridors and I'm gonna be showing you the other half of the quarters which is probably my favorite part of the whole vault actually you know what I like the market more I think the markets my favorite part so room one to six as well as a lounge this is the lounge now I have, I built my own gaming stations for Atomic Command, Pipfall, Red Menace, and Zeta Invaders. Each of the computer terminals has the game beside them, as well as a bunch of dirty dishes and soda pops and cigarettes like all of us gamers like to Just have like around gamer, our gaming yeah. stations. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I've never seen anyone else do that. That That's was cool. probably my favorite part. That's smart. This, this, when I said I had that glitch, guys, and it took me a while, this is what I lost. This entire area. So, I was super defeated. So, yeah. I got that gaming side, and then I have just the lounge side, and then I have that old woman making my soda pops. Do you like this area the Remote second time pool. through more, though? Oh, yeah, man. Oh, absolutely. Yeah? I, I reshaped the rooms. Look, it looks all trippy right now. Right. <laughs> I reshaped the rooms, and I didn't have that video game idea the first time around, so it was, yeah. it was really just a big, big lounge, so it turned out cooler. In the I end. think so too. I remember what it looked like, and this is definitely way better. Yeah. And then, yeah, this is the rest of the rooms, room three. I did put a lot of time into this section of the vault. I, I, in total, I really thought about it the other day on how much time I spent on this. More than Spectacle Island. So I'm thinking around 96 hours. Like four solid days, I'd say. I spent building this thing like solid. That's crazy. And I lost when that glitch happened at least 14. 
at least. So I was super pissed. I was so mad. You remember how mad I was. Oh, you were pretty pissed. I remember. I was. Furious. He was ready it to ruined, give up. It ruined my day. <laughs> yeah. It ruined my entire absolutely. day. Absolutely. I, I knew was you'd mad bounce all back day. though. I knew you wouldn't give up. <clears throat> yeah. Jeez, guys, this is only the bottom floor. We still have a whole second floor to show off. This is my longest showcase video. I can't believe how how big it is. There's just so much to show. I will never, I will never ever build another vault. Never after this. You know what the stupid thing is, guys? I didn't even get the achievement for being the overseer, and I'm the overseer. <laughs> so that's bullshit. I've noticed a lot of achievements glitch though on Xbox. Yeah. I don't know what it's like for I PlayStation. I'm sure it's, it's the same stupid. for PlayStation. Okay, so here I have all my crops. I ri I dressed all of the settlers in specific outfits to their jobs. So the farmers have heavy leather armor. The doctors have lab coats. The barbers or the doctors have Voltec lab coats. The barbers have regular lab coats. There's my barber area. Except that barber, I suppose. <laughs> my factory. So I wanted to build a vault that really did feel like it, it was super self-sustainable. So that's why I put the factory in here. Because I wanted, I like the idea of being able to make my own weapons and clothes and food, you know? And I did. I, I made all of my heavy combat armor for my vault dwellers in here. And um, all their weapons, all the weapons in the police station, which you'll see in a sec. I even have a switch for all the sections, or for all the lights, rather. A little bit of a lag. This is a pretty solid factory. Oh yeah, totally. When I build, when I play on my other account, I would probably build this above ground. You know, I didn't actually bother with walking around the entire outside for this video because it would have just dragged on. It would have been like a 25 minute showcase. It would have been ridiculous. We're gonna get to the market in a sec. We're just gonna go with the police station. So look at this. Every one of those mannequins used to have heavy reinforced combat armor, but I put them on all the officers and then I took some of those Goss rifles. But this is the actual police station. It's a neat idea. Cool. And then the nursery, which is pretty basic. Because there's no such thing as children and babies in any settlements, so. I didn't think it needed ask? much room. <laughs> you think they would have added that in? Yeah, whatever. I have heard. You could bring Sean here. <laughs> yeah, if I beat the game. So yeah, yep, the second floor is mostly just, you know, these walkways. But here we go, this is my favorite part, the market. See the reactor beneath. <clears throat> the market is the only place that has an actual exit from the vault. It's the back door as well as the market. Suit up. There's the general goods. You may not recognize that ghoul because he's out of his disgusting outfit, but that's the uh, the trader ghoul, the one from the beginning of the game. What's the vault tech. The name? vault tech rep. Vault tech rep. Yeah. <laughs> exit. That's the back door. Nice. Then my. Weapons. Gab built, put that, all that stuff there. I just made the weapons for it. And now we're gonna go out the back door. This is where the super mutants come from. This is where they always come up and attack me and kill my vault dwellers, so. I put in some reinforcements and not once have they bugged me since this happened. There's a nuke of mine there, if they even make it this far. 
so no entry from this way. No way they can get in anymore. You're just ready to go, hey? Yeah, I'm ready to go. And yeah. the lights are off, so we're just gonna power this on and off to let the lights work. There we go. <clears throat> so yeah, as you can see, that's where the super mutants come up from. So I built the super mutants a little hideout and a little base down there where they can hang out and so they don't have to come up and fuck with me and my friends. But even when they get close, they get taken out. This is the only place I didn't use for my vault. The only place. I honestly just didn't need it. Like, what more could I need? You know what I mean? Oh yeah, totally. And then if you walk up and trigger this, if you happen to not die from all those turrets, you die from being burned and electrocuted. That looks so cool. I haven't seen you um, trip them before. Yeah. That's nice. And then the new command goes off usually. So I guess that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. You can see the turrets are on now after I switch that, flip that switch, switch that flip, flip that <laughs> switch in my room. So, uh, yeah, tell me if you guys, uh, like this one or what you thought, what you liked, what you didn't like. I'm anxious to hear it. I've been working on this for so long. I, I, it, I just, I'm so happy to have it out. But now that this is done, I'm definitely going to be putting out videos, uh, more often. So I hope you guys liked it. If you have any builds you'd like to submit, you can um, post those on my Facebook page, and the link is on my channel. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.